Jeremiah He's saying we a cult, he a cult leader. Jeremiah in verse 11. Bring it out. And I will make Jerusalem heat. Like he said, I will make Jerusalem heat. The so called white man. Like the so called white man has came to our land like and made our land heat. Do really? it. And the den of dragons. <laughs> and the what? And the den of dragons. A dragon is a damn serpent. A damn you devil, man. Me, you the Lord just said you're a devil. That's man. right. And I will left. make the me. cities of Judah desolate. I will, what? I will make the cities of Jerusalem desolate. Jesus, Jesus was black. He's right about that. He says it. He is skin of bronze. Are you going to speak to me? Why do you keep speaking to him? What do you want to say? Say. It may be from child abuse. Were you abused? You said what? Did your dad abuse you? Were you beaten up? You see that? He get the chance to speak, and that's what he said. Mind with the, the damn Edomites, man. Not really. Go to, go to Lamentations 3 verse 16. Hold Job 17 and verse 2. Somebody hold the book. Uh, uh, I want these. I want these. We gotta hold the phone like this. Yeah. <laughs> this serpent has to come out. Because we're giving this man his judgment. Don't even record him. Because we're giving this man his judgment. Keep this man going to say, were you abused by your father? That's all these heathens thinking of you, man. You just a fine word. Right. Read that in Job 17 and verse 2. It wouldn't be his fault, it would be his dad's fault. Actually, you can go to Lamentations 5 and verse 6. Read that. Let's see anything I'm going to read it now. Yeah. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Bring it out. Remember, O Yahweh, right? What has come upon us, right? Upon the Israelites, the chosen people. Consider and behold our reproach, right? Our reproach, we're reproach to these heathens, man. Oh, you must have been beat by your father. Also, you, you just a nigga. A stick, you just a thug. And it's intimidating. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our what? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Now we're on the side, but I'm not really worried. We are orphans Jesus and really fatherless, yeah, really. right? Our mothers are as widows, right? We have drunk in our water for money, our wood is sold unto us. What is the book of Lamentations chapter 3 verse 61? Bring it out! God has heard their reproach, right? We have heard the reproach of the heathens. Oh, Yahweh! And all their imaginations against me, right? All their imaginations, all their thoughts against us. Man. The lips of those that rose up against me. The lips of what? Of those that, that rose, rose up against, against me. The lips of the so-called white man has rose against the Israelites ever since y'all was born, man. Okay. And there's a light against me all the day, right? Behold, they're sitting down the and they're rising up. I am their music. I am their what? I am their music. So we're music to the so we're music to the so-called white man. They feel they can say it's whatever they want. White you can do whatever you want to do. It's, it's not going to save the white man in the Bible. The, the Lord's talks are similar to it. Oh, Read that. Job. Yeah, Job. It's man. the book of Job, chapter 17, and verse 2. The wicked flee. He's a damn demon, man. That's right. Going to slavery. Get ready for slavery. That's right. right. Are there not mockers with me? Are there what? Are there not mockers with me? And that's what this Edomite was trying to do. He was trying to mock me. Man, you must have grew up in a low income Yeah, I'm a cult leader. We're a damn son. We're a power to these men. We're a mocking of that damn laughing stuff. Are there not mockers with me? And does not my eye continue in their provocation? Read that again. And does not my eye continue in their provocation? So our eyes are continuing in their provocation. Now we're continuously watching these men damn uh, laugh at us. Right? Why can't you mean you go into slavery, man. That's right. Hey, y'all still got five minutes to hear the words of God. Five minutes. All right, somebody go to the book of Ezekiel 23. Go to Ezekiel 23. Hold Jeremiah 7 and verse 18. Sick of these damn devils, man. You can hold the book. We're going to start off with you. Go to Ezekiel 23 and verse 16. The book of Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 16. Bring it out. Ezekiel 23 and 16. Bring it out. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she got it upon them and sent messengers. Read it. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. See that? Don't answer. You don't answer. That's right. The wicked flee. Read that. The book of Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 16. This is why Israel is a damn laughing stuff. That's why these damn heathens, they feel like they got the place to say the things they say. That's a, that's pride, man. Yeah, uh, your father must have abused you. That's all. Read that. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes, 
She got it upon them. Right, he's talking about Israel. As soon as we seen these heathens, their customs, we looked upon them and we damn got ravaged by them. Right now, uh, our people are uh, just got done celebrating damn Christmas. Right. We look at the heathens and say, oh, I want to follow them too. The Christmas came from the Babylonians, man. But we we look at the Babylonians and say, oh, I want to do that. I want to do what they do. I want to do what the so-called white men do. Go ahead. It says, and sent messengers unto them. Right, we sent messengers. We actually sent men into other people's lands. And we're trying to inquire of their religions, their customs, their doctrines, their philosophies, their different ways of life. Go ahead. And sent messages unto them and to Chaldea. Right, into Chaldea. That's the Babylonians. Go ahead. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love. Right, and we came into the bed of love with these heathens. Somebody hold the book of uh, Hosea 2 verse 7. Go ahead. Actually get Ezekiel 16 and 26. Like <laughs> verse 17. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love. Right. And they defiled her with their whoredom. They did what? And they defiled. defiled her with their whoredom. They defiled Israel with their whoredom, man. This is the whoredom. You, over there, you got the damn Christmas hat. All right. Everyone's damn buying and selling. So they just got their little gift cards. They might have got their Rite Aid gift cards. Their damn H&M gift cards, man. All right. People are swallowed up and defiled by these heathens because of their damn different customs. Go ahead. And she was polluted with them. And her mind was alienated, gone, alienated from them. Right, and our mind is alienated from them. Right? So she discovered her whoredom and discovered her nakedness. Right. Then my mind was alienated from her. And the Lord, the Lord's mind was alienated from us being a heat for us. He kind of not dealing with us for a while, man. Oh, he said, you a strange people. Now you follow the men that are vanity. Didn't he say in Isaiah 40 verse 17, these heathens are vanity? They're That's right. Less, they're nothing, man. So you going and mixing yourselves with these people, not a lord, he's damn, he feels as if you're a damn alien, man. What is that alien? An alien is something strange, man. Something you've never seen before. Something that you've never encountered. Y'all dealing with him? Oh, you want, I mean, you want to deal with him? It, it don't matter. All right, well, let him know what the answer to the EMI is. The EMI I mean, it's not if I yeah, you, you got it. It's like, you got it. You're Verse 18, Ezekiel chapter 20, 23, verse 18. So she discovered her whoredom. Right, we discovered our whoredom. What are, what are the uh, things we were doing? We were sleeping with the other nations, fornicating. Let me get that in Ezekiel uh, 16 26. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, and verse 26. Thou has also committed fornication. We have what? Thou has also committed fornication. With the Egyptians. Right? We have committed fornication with the ancient Egyptians and we're for, uh, committed fornication with the Egyptians now. Are right, we getting down with their Thanksgiving? All right, their Easter. All right, what, what else? Uh, Fourth of July. All right. What other day? Yeah, New Year, Valentine's Day. Where you got a damn uh, baby Edomite with wings on. He damn shooting damn uh, love arrows, man. All right, go ahead. Thy neighbors break the flesh, right? And have increased thy whoredom. And we have what? Increased, increased thy whoredom. Israel has increased thy whoredom. So, hey, brother, what's your nationality, brother? Yeah, what's your nationality, brother? What's my nationality? Yeah. Your race. Oh, my race? Yeah, your race. Melanated. You said melanated. All right, well, brother, that's not a nationality. There's no language called melody. I have no nationality. Well, did you know that that's in the Bible? Get Jeremiah 17. Did you know that that was in the Bible? That you will be stripped of your nationality, your race? You believe in the Bible? Sir, yeah. Are we going to show you that the Bible is, is talking about the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? We're going to show you. We're going to prove you. Read that, King. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Bring it out. Thou, even thyself, right. shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave you. Somebody gonna show And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So the, so the Lord said he will cause you to discontinue from your heritage. The so-called black men don't know their heritage. The so-called black men thinks that uh, their heritage is being a kingpin, being a drug uh, lord, all right? Damn prostituting their women, being a rap star, an NBA star. That's not your damn heritage. That's something that the white man has forced on you. If you ain't noticed, those men are damn puppets. They basically damn monkeys down there, all right? But the Lord said he's going to strip you from that, and now you're going to serve your enemies. 
these men that play basketball, that's rappers, they don't understand that they're serving a the so-called white man. They have been stripped from who they are, and now they're just a servant. They're entertaining. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies right. in a land which thou knowest not. And we're in a land that we didn't know. We were brought here on slave ships. Before these slave ships, we didn't know about America. All right? So the Lord just prophesied through the prophet Jeremiah that our nationality would be stripped away from us. All right? We would no longer know who we are, and then we're going to serve our enemies in a land that we don't know. That, that sounds like us so far. Are right, we going to show you some more. Go to the book of Deuteronomy 28. You ever heard about Moses? Moses known for doing partner, partner, you know, you smile like you know. Now this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Read that. Shalom. Shalom, King Shalom. Chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall huh? come to pass, if right. thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites, if you don't keep the commandments of the Lord, there's going to be curses placed upon you. What's your nationality? Ecuadorian. All praise. Well, according to the Bible, you were Israelite as well. So what we're showing this, you ever heard about Moses? What we're showing this brother is that we'll be the Israelites God chose people. The so-called black and Native Americans are God's chosen people. All right, we got to repent these last days. But we're going to continue. We're going to start up. We're going to read that over again. All right. It don't matter where you stand, brother. I'm still here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses told the Israelites, if you don't listen to God, go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And we all understand a curse is not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So these Israelites, if you don't listen to the Lord, you're going to be cursed. We know through the precepts, Isaiah 1 and 3, Israel has rebelled against the Lord. So therefore, these curses that Moses is speaking of, they did fall on the Israelites. Now we're going to read the curses. Whatever nations on the earth fit these curses are the same Israelites here today. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Read verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. You say you're from Ecuador? I right, read this. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So one of the curses is that you'll be cursed in the city. We know that the so-called black men don't look good in the city. We know that the so-called Hispanic man doesn't look good in any city they are in, right? Whether it's America, Ecuador, it really don't matter where you at, we're cursed in the city. Now the so-called Spanish, they don't get a lot of a lot of coverage on the things that they go through. Why? Because they understand if they attack the head, then the, the tail's going to follow. They don't really have to get on the so-called Hispanics that much. All they got to do is oppress the head, and then you guys will be the tail following on, and, and y'all going to be damn cursed. Y'all going to be destroyed with us. All right? But we understand we go through the same curses. Continue. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And he said, cursed shalt thou be in the field. You, Your people used to work in the slave field under the Spaniards, the Europeans, and you as well. All right? We got the pictures all right here. The books is covering it, but we all went through the same oppression. We went through the same things that the Israelites are. Yeah, we uh, we do. Somebody got it. All right. Well, we went through those uh, uh, same curses that was prophesied to befall the Israelites. All right. We're going to read another one. Go to verse 54. And somebody who, you can hold Amos 7 and verse uh, 17. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. His eyes shall be evil toward his brethren. Right? So now, one of the curses is that the uh, the man that is tender and delicate among you, which would be me and this brother, or me and you, now we would have an evil eye towards our brother. That's prophesied to happen to the Israelites. You look at 2020 today, you see the so-called black men killing each other, the so-called black men killing the so-called Hispanic man. That's having an evil eye towards our brother. All right? I see you with your woman. I, I might feel like I dress better than you. I got more money than you. I got a Rolls Royce somewhere. I can take your woman. I'm going to pull up on you. you you right there next to your woman. I'm trying to talk to your woman. That's having an evil eye towards your brother. That happens to our people. You know what? Toward the wife of his bosom, right? We have an evil eye even towards our woman, and towards the remnant of his children, right? Which he shall leave. And we know that the so-called black man is known for leaving their children at a young age. 
We say it all the time. We make jokes in school about it. My dad, he went to go get a carton of milk. He ain't never come back. Right. We play around with it like it's a damn joke. <laughs> right. I'm going to show you another thing. I don't even say that I'm uh, melanated because I don't uh, adhere to what the world say I am. Like, that's good. You gotta, you gotta take heed to But I know I got melanate, melan, melanin in my DNA. Alright, brother. Well, you that's a, why I said you I'm an Israelite. Alright, brother. You an Israelite. Uh, God's chosen you. Alright, brother. Alright, brother. That's the first time I ever heard that. I think I'm melanated. We heard we heard a lot of stuff. Uh, God body. We heard that a couple times. Right, right. Well, you actually can. There's a book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, and verse 18. Bring it out. So she discovered her hoarders. Right, so like we were going over previously, Israel has discovered her hoarders. All right, go ahead. And it says, and discover her nakedness. Right, and there is in your nakedness. All right, brother. All right, go ahead. Then my mind was alienated from her. Right, so the Lord, he alienated himself from Israel. All right. Like as my mind was alienated from her sisters, right? From her sisters talking about Judah and Israel, right? Yet she multiplied her whoredom. Yet she what? She multiplied her whoredom. Israel has multiplied their whoredom. They didn't stop, like we said, they didn't stop at just Christmas. They kept on going, they took it up or not. Now we're going to worship the damn stars. Wow. What is that, Jake? You got to get that on camera, right? Well, oh, well, that's his lot. That's justice. Right. So continue and know it. Judgment right there. Brother, you don't gotta record that no more. Read that one more time. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 19. Bring it out. Yet she multiply her water. Right. And call it to remember it the days of her youth. Right now we worship them. And it said we called the uh, uh, days of our youth. When you was a kid, all of us when we were kids, we couldn't wait to open up some damn Christmas right. presents. Man. Right. Jake damn 30 years old. The brother was saying he got 30 year old family members. They still got a Christmas tree up. Man. They remember the days of their youth. They go back in the past and say, I remember I used to have that little uh, snow globe. I want to play with the snow globe again. I want to buy my son a snow globe. Go ahead. Wherein she had played the harlot. She had what? She had played the harlot. He worshiped the Buddha. Buddha. He worshiped this man. That's multiplying your hoardings and your witchcraft, man. Go ahead. Wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt. She had what? She played, played the harlot in, in the land of Egypt. Lord told them, don't go into Egypt. They said, no, I, I, don't, I can't listen to that. I'm going to go into Egypt. Right. Read that again, Bible. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, and verse 26. Bring it out. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians. Hey, brother, hey, brother, you ready to repent? Brother, you got to repent. Read that again. Thou hast, thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians. Right, so we're sleeping with the Egyptians. How are we sleeping with them? Worshiping their gods? Uh -huh. Whatever the Egyptians do, we want to think. Okay? Thy neighbors of great flesh, right? And has increased thy hoarders to provoke me to anger. And we have increased our hoarders to provoke the Lord to anger. That's right. The Lord is angry that we're sleeping with these other nations. That's, That's right. Lord, you think the Lord wants to see you celebrate Christmas? You think you want to see you celebrating damn uh, Thanksgiving, right. Easter, all right, Fourth of July, New Year's, and New Year's is coming up, all right, right. so called New Year. The Lord's going to destroy men that's uh, born again with these other that's nations. That's right. All right, keep going on that. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee, right, and have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee into the will of death that hate thee, right, and the Lord has delivered us into the hand of them that hate us. Hey, sister, you ready to repent? You said, what she, she said, yo. She said, yo. Oh, well. This book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 18. Bring it out. The children gather wood 
Right. And fathers give to the boys. Right, it's like the children gather wood. So Jake out there in the damn forest, like these Edomites gather wood for Christmas. I gotta, I gotta get this tree. All right, I gotta get this wood for the campfire. And y'all brothers believe in God? Y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in God? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got God's word right here for you. We got five minutes real quick. Come here to word. I got five minutes. Christmas is over. Come here to word. Come here to word. That's the word. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Praise to the most high. That's right. All right. Y'all know about uh, Moses? What is it? You said what? Nah, that's Abraham. But they, they the same people. All right, we're going to do it. Let's go with the run. Y'all ever heard of the Israelites? Who's the Israelites today? Who are the Israelites today? Yeah. Yeah, they well these these three tribes are the Jews. Alright? But the rest, that's their part of Israel as well. But I'm, my question is, who are these uh Israelites today? Where's where's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi at? Are they gone or are they still here today? You said they're gone? Go to um Sirach 27. Actually 37 and verse 25. Thirty-seven to twenty-five. We're gonna show you something. You can get Romans eleven. Hold on, I got. I got. I could get. I'm gonna get.